Hi people, I'm Tyler Prop and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. A little bit about me, I'm 45 years old, I'm from Germany and I love it to paint and build uh, World War II models. In the last weeks I started a little bit to paint uh, the GW Warhammer 40k uh, Space Marines and Imperial Army. This is very nice, it's very exciting because I never worked worked before with uh, the blue, yellow, gold and crazy colors before and I want to see how it works. But today in my first video I want to talk with you about this one. This is the Camouflage Profile Guide 1945 Germ Colors from Aker Interactive. Okay, let's have a look inside. Okay people, here we are. What we have is the Camouflage Profile Guide 1945 Germ Colors from Aker Interactive. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, on the first two sides we have the prologue from Mick Jimenez and uh, some technical information about the uh, German late work colors, uh, the, the base colors, uh, the lights and the shadows, how to work with this one. Uh, on the other side we have an introduction and uh, technical information how to read uh, black and white pictures to create your color profile for your tank. And uh, on the next side, um, let's start with the tanks. I don't want to show you too long the side because I don't want to have trouble with the people from AK Interactive. I don't want them with a shotgun in front of my house and... <laughs> That's the reason why I go a little bit fast through the papers. But it's only for you that you can see a little bit what you can have for your money and uh, that you know a little bit what you have inside here. Yeah, you can see these pictures are all full colored. You can see under every picture you have a little story about the tank or about the camouflage. The paper is good quality. I like this one. You can you can work with this one. Yeah, it's not uh, a cheap one. It's a good quality. Yeah. Yeah, they are all full color. And if you need inspiration, if you need help, uh, if you have questions about late war colors, I think uh, this one can be the right book for you. It's 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 nice one yeah it helps you it's better than to paint always the, the same tanks in gray and only dark yellow or the Elliot tanks only in green and all this one after the normal tanks we have the paper pencils 1946 what if very interesting stuff about the paper pencils and uh, the crazy color schemes looks very nice I painted two tanks in this kind of camouflage, it was very nice and uh, it was very funny to paint this one in, in, in the new camouflage stuff. Then you have the modeling ideas and plastic models from Mick Jimenez. He made beautiful uh, tanks. Here the Leopard tank with all the streaks and dust around them and uh, the chipping, it's a great one. Also the Panther 2, this is the first one and then he repainted uh, with some uh, other green color uh, under US service. <laughs> it's very funny and a very nice one. Yeah, this is the Camouflage Profile Guide 1945 from uh, AK Interactive. I paid for this book around 18, 19 euros. Plus shipping, it must be around maybe uh, 21, 22 dollars. Maybe I'm not sure. Um, I think uh, it's a good book for fair money. Price is okay for this one. Uh, I saw other magazines or other books where you have to pay a lot of money more, and uh, good book for your workbench you can have this one on your side you can watch inside when you want to paint something yeah 
if you like the German late work colors, if you need inspiration or if you need new ideas, this one can be very helpful. Also, if you're working with uh, maybe with the miniatures from Dusk Tactic, um, it can be helpful too. Uh, it's, it's open to all stuff in modeling if you work with camouflage schemes and uh, yeah. I love this book, I like this book, I can recommend uh, to buy this one. Um, it, this book was a great idea and it's very helpful. Yeah, that was my first video. Um, I want to show you in my next video uh, the AK Interactive German Late War Colors. This one here, the acrylic colors for airbrush. There are six bottles inside uh, and I want to make a little unboxing and we want to see how it works with the airbrush. Normally it must be uh, from the bottle in the airbrush, it must be no problem. Uh, but we want to see how it works. Um, but this is for the next video. Yeah, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you like my video and uh, please subscribe and tell me if you like this one or if you don't like this one or what I can do better and don't forget um, this is my first video <laughs> and for sure I can do it better in the next time uh, and sorry for my bad English uh, English is not my uh, native language but uh, I think you understand me and I hope I, hope I can do it better uh, after a while thanks a lot have a nice day and bye bye